Uh, so we are looking at nitration of methyl benzene. Uh, nitration, nitration of methyl methyl benzene. Uh, the nitration of methyl benzene, as we said earlier, it is similar to the nitration of benzene because methyl benzene is a derivative of benzene. So the reactions undergone by benzene are basically also methyl benzene undergoes such reactions where we call them uh, electrophilic substitution reactions. So we are saying that methyl benzene, methyl benzene, methyl benzene reacts with a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid on warming to from also and para products of methyl benzene to form also and para products of methyl benzene. So we are going to have uh, methyl benzene methyl benzene methyl benzene reacting with conch nitric acid in organic chemistry the word conk as a abbreviation is accepted except that if we were mentioning the reagent let's say in paper one you don't say conk but if you are writing uh, an equation it is accepted you can write conk instead of writing the word concentrated then we also have concentrated sulfuric acid then on warming we can say warm or oh, you can have 50 degrees Celsius and then we have the also and para products so we have the nitro group coming in there position number two then we also have the nitro group coming in on position 4. Then we also have water as one of the products. So that is what we call nitration. So the mechanism, we say that concentrated sulfuric acid protonates are nitric acid. So we are going to have nitric acid reacting with sulfuric acid. Then we generate an electrophile which is a nitronium ion, hydrogen sulfate ion, and then water. Alternatively, you can have nitric acid reacting with sulfuric acid. We form the nitronium ion and hydrogen sulfate ion then the hydroxonium ions that will later give us water. So you have to balance this equation. Now after generating an electrophile, this is our electrophile, remember, as we previously saw with the benzene, now that will attack, will be attacked by benzene, the other methyl benzene, this is our nitronium ion as an electrophile, then we get CH3, then the nitronium ion, the nitronium ion coming in, the nitro group now, then we expose the carbon, we reform our bond, then we have CH3, then 
then we lose a proton. Remember? We lose a proton and that is our that is for also product. That is for also product for para product. For para product, a similar mechanism is adhered to. We have our methyl benzene alternating double bonds. Then we have our nitronium ion as an electrophile because we have already generated it. Then we have we have something which looks like that. We expose the hydrogen to be dis dis repressed. Then we form our bond again. We lose a proton. Then we form our para product. Make sure you draw the ring very nicely. Don't throw the bonds there. We form our product. That is what we call nitration of methyl benzene. You can see similarly that the reactions are the same as for benzene. But what changes is the group that directs the incoming uh, group to position 2 and position 4. Uh, because this group CH3 is also para director. So it directs the incoming electrophile position 2 and position 4. So we are saying that uh, taurine uh, or methyl benzene nitrates easily in the presence of nitrous acid uh, at 0 degrees Celsius in the presence of fuming nitric acid heated at negative 10 degrees Celsius uh, for further nitration produced to for dinitro taurine. So on further nitration we see that when we have concentrated nitric acid alone can react without protonation of sulfuric acid. So if I have uh, my nitro uh, uh, nitro nitrated uh, benzene, the reaction can proceed uh, without the concentrated uh, sulfuric acid. So we are saying methyl methyl benzene methyl benzene nitrates easily in the presence in the presence of concentrated nitric acid at negative 10 degrees Celsius for further for further nitration for further nitration of nitrated Methyl benzene. So if I have uh, CH3, I have the, let's say I am having the also product. Now, having the also product, you can have methyl benzene, then I have nitrous acid, or which you can call fuming. So nitric acid at negative 10 degrees Celsius, I am going to have, I am going to have the 2, 4, I'm going to have the 2, 4 substituted product, then I can also have water, but I'm interested in the major product. I'm interested in the major product. So this is the 2,4 dinitro methyl dinitro phenyl methyl benzene. So that is if you have methyl benzene reacting with uh, consuming nitric acid or concentrated nitric acid at negative 10 degrees Celsius, you have the 2,4 disubstituted. 
The, this product can further be nitrated uh, in the presence of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid uh, to form or to produce a product called 246 trinitro methyl benzene. So we are saying the product the product can further be nitrated in the presence in the presence of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid to form 246 tri nitro methyl benzene 246 tri nitro methyl benzene so we are having CH3 we are having our 24 substituted product so we are having concentrated nitric acid we are having concentrated sulfuric acid then we are going to have the 24 We are going to have the two four two four six trinitro methyl benzene two four six trinitro phenyl benzene. So that is when we have uh, nitration continuing up to when we have all the positions occupied. Remember when we were looking at rosonase, we had that. So we hit that. Uh, the reaction can also proceed at room temperature because the benzene ring is already activated. So that brings us to the third reaction, which we call sulfonation. Sulfonation of methyl, methyl benzene carbonation of methyl benzene so we are saying methyl benzene reacts with fuming sulfuric acid to form a mixture of ortho and para products so we are going to have the same reaction as seen in benzene so we are saying methyl benzene methyl benzene reacts with fuming Fuming, which you can call concentrated sulfuric acid, to form two and four substituted substituted product of uh, benzene methyl benzene. Methyl benzene sulfonic acid so this is what happens you are going to have our methyl benzene our methyl benzene reacting with fuming sulfuric acid this reaction has to be controlled, so we have reflux. We are going to have CH3. We have the benzene sulfonic acid, so that is the ortho product. Then we can also have the para product. We can also have the para product of methyl benzene sulfonic acid. Then we also have 
water form. So every reaction we look at, we look at the reaction mechanism. So we are going to look at sulfonation, how it proceeds via uh, mechanism. That is sulfonation of methyl benzene.